Hi everyone, this video is your go-to guide for the CAPTU Read Basics Assessment. We're here to make sure you're set up for success and ready to support you as you show what you know. First off, let's clear something up. This assessment is not for a grade. Seriously, no grade on this one. But it's super important for another reason. The results are going to help us understand your foundational reading skills. Think of it as a roadmap. It helps us figure out the best ways to support your learning in the classroom and if there are other ways we should be supporting your literacy learning here at school. So while it's not about a letter grade, it's absolutely about helping you reach your full potential as a reader. That's why giving it your best effort really matters. So let's get started. You'll start by logging in to CAPD.com. Then your assessment will appear at the top of the screen. Click it to open it. Then click start to begin. There are six subtests. You may be taking all six subtests today, but most likely you'll do half now and half later. Take your time. Let's take a quick tour through each section to see what each one is all about. So for each section, you'll get specific directions for that subtest, followed by an example, then a few practice questions to make sure that you understand that part. Then you'll start the assessment. I'll show you each one now. So the first one is called word recognition and decoding. The directions say that it's your job to decide if what you see is Number one, a real word. Number two, not a real word. Or number three, sounds exactly like a real word. So number three says car. Read it in your head first before deciding. Even if it's spelled in a funny way, it might sound like a real word. So here's that example again. This says class. Be careful. These can trick you. Read the words carefully. Practice questions tell you if you're doing them right, so make sure that you do them. The next selection is vocabulary. So you'll read the directions and then pick the word with the most similar meaning to the given word. Next, we have morphology. So these are made of smaller words, parts, or morphemes. So for example, tele means far, plus phone, which means sound, equals telephone. So here, choose the best choice that makes the sentence make sense. Next is sentence processing. This is all about how your brain figures out what the sentence really means. So writers will often use clue words to help you understand, like time words, before, or second, pointing words like him or that, comparing words like less than, larger than, or sometimes reason words, because, therefore. Try to pay attention to these as you make your choice to make the sentence make sense. The next one is reading efficiency. This is really cool because as you read, you're putting a story together. Choose the best word to complete the sentence, and then another sentence will appear as you're putting a whole paragraph together. Here's how that looks. Make your choice, then another sentence will appear as soon as you push next. Be careful because some sentences won't have a missing word, but keep reading so you can follow the whole story as the paragraph builds. Last one, reading comprehension. When you read, your brain creates a mental movie of what's happening. To do that, you need to know what the words mean, remember what you've read, and then connect ideas across sentences or whole passages. So this part checks how well you can do all of that. So understanding what you read is the main goal of reading. So this part helps us see how strong your reading skills are overall. Here's some tips. 
You can pause the test at any time to take a comfort break and then resume where you left off. You know that you're finished when you see this pop up. Do the practice questions. They really do help. Take your time. Do your best. You got this.